coronavirus has had a very adverse effect on global trade. We have interlinked supply chains with China. They're closed down. We cannot make sales uh, and export, and that has created problems for our corporations, our small businesses, and our workers. And the same is true of China, too. They are facing an uphill fight with the black cloud of uncertainty hovering over it. I hope that uh, the, in the long term that we can find ways to work together to deal with health issues which are going to be uh, facing us in the future. But uh, I don't think we're going to see a quick turnaround in the coronavirus. You read the statistics, they're now in multiple countries and the numbers are still going up. And so this is a big problem. We need to join hands not only with China, but with other countries to work together and solve this issue, which is very damaging, not only to the economy, to people's lives. I have no crystal ball about how the coronavirus is going to affect the phase one trade deal. I suspect it's going to make it very challenging for China to make the kind of purchases that it uh, had anticipated it could make. And uh, therefore, there'll be an additional uncertainty so that farmers that expected to sell more and others that expected that uh, their exports would flow I think are going to be disappointed, but we have to live through this very, very unpleasant circumstance. Well, the coronavirus has been a, uh, a very, very impeding force in terms of connectivity. The fact is that our supply chains have been interrupted. The uh, uh, factory is closed down. That means you can't finish your product. And uh, the exports can't go out because the ports are closed. It's a really a very, very difficult problem that not only we face and China faces, but it's, it's uh, spreading across the globe.